Right now, somewhere over Edwards Air Force Base in California, a bomber is flying that enemy radars literally cannot see. Not because it's flying high, not because it's fast, but because its radar signature is the size of a mosquito. While Russia and China spend billions trying to detect stealth aircraft, America just made every single one of their air defense systems obsolete. The B-21 Raider isn't just another bomber, it's a technological earthquake that just made every other bomber on Earth look like a museum piece, and what it can do will change warfare forever. The second B-21 Raider took its maiden flight in September 2025, joining the first test aircraft in the most secretive bomber program since World War II. But here's what nobody's talking about. This isn't just an upgrade. The stealth technology inside this aircraft is so advanced that it makes the legendary B-2 Spirit look primitive by comparison. And when you understand the 10 revolutionary breakthroughs packed into this flying wing, you'll see why adversaries around the world are scrambling to respond. Let's break down exactly why the B-21 Raider just made history. Number 10. Invisible to every radar on Earth. Let's start with the most shocking fact. The B-2 Spirit, which has been our premier stealth bomber for over three decades, has a radar cross-section roughly the size of a large bird. That's already incredible. But the B-21 Raider, its radar signature, is the size of a mosquito. Think about that for a second. Enemy radar systems designed to track aircraft the size of buildings are now trying to find something smaller than your fingernail. This isn't just marketing hype. The B-21 uses radar absorbent materials that are generations beyond anything on the F-22 or F-35. These new materials don't just deflect radar waves like older stealth technology. They actually absorb electromagnetic energy and convert it into heat, then dissipate it harmlessly. The coating is embedded directly into the aircraft's composite structure, making it thinner, more durable, and requiring far less maintenance than the notoriously finicky B-2 coating. But here's where it gets really interesting. Unlike the B-2, which was primarily optimized for stealth from the front, the B-21 has full 360-degree low observability. That means even if an enemy radar somehow picks up a trace from behind or below, there's essentially nothing to lock onto. Every surface, every curve, every bolt placement was calculated using artificial intelligence and advanced computational modeling to minimize signature across radio frequency, infrared, and even acoustic spectrums. If you think America's stealth technology is unmatched, type PROUD in the comments below. Number 9. The Digital Twin Revolution Here's something that separates the B-21 from every bomber that came before it. Before the first physical aircraft ever flew, engineers had already flown thousands of test missions in a completely digital environment. They call it a digital twin, and it's changed everything about how we build military aircraft. The B-21's entire design, from the stealth coatings to the internal systems, exists as a perfect digital replica in a cloud-based environment. This means engineers can test new weapons, run system upgrades, and even simulate combat scenarios without ever touching the actual aircraft. When problems are discovered, they're fixed in the digital environment first, then applied to the real bomber. This approach cut years off the development timeline and saved billions of dollars. But more importantly, it means the B-21 can be upgraded faster than any bomber in history. New threats emerge, the digital twin gets updated first, tested virtually, then pushed to the actual fleet. It's like having a time machine that lets you test the future before it happens. And get this, ground crews use augmented reality tools that overlay maintenance instructions directly onto the aircraft. Technicians can visualize complex tasks and solve problems before ever touching a panel. This isn't just cool technology. It means the B-21 will spend more time in the air and less time in the hangar, which is exactly what our forces need. Number 8. Open Architecture for Unlimited Upgrades Remember how the B-2 Spirit required massive, expensive overhauls every time new technology needed to be integrated? Those days are over. The B-21 was designed from day one with what engineers call an open systems architecture, and it's a total game changer. Think of it like the difference between an old flip phone with fixed features and a smartphone that gets better with every software update. The B-21's internal systems are modular, meaning new weapons, sensors, and electronic warfare capabilities can be integrated rapidly without redesigning the entire aircraft. Here's why that matters. 
By the time the Air Force reaches its planned total of 100 B-21s by the mid-2030s, new technologies will have emerged that we can't even imagine today. With older bombers, integrating those advances would take years and cost billions. With the B-21, it could happen in months through software updates and hardware swaps. This means the B-21 isn't just a bomber for today. It's a platform that will remain cutting edge for the next 50 years. As threats evolve, the radar evolves with them. Enemy develops new radar, the B-21 gets a counter within months. New weapons become available, they're integrated seamlessly. This aircraft was built to dominate the future, not just the present. Number 7. Advanced RAM that actually works. Let's talk about something that made the B-2 Spirit incredibly effective, but also incredibly expensive to maintain. Radar Absorbent Material, or RAM. The B-2's coating was so delicate that it required over 100 hours of maintenance for every single hour of flight. Imagine needing to inspect and repair special tape covering 3,000 feet of aircraft surface after every mission. That's what made the B-2 cost around $150,000 per flight hour. The B-21 changes everything. Its radar absorbent materials are fundamentally different. Instead of iron-based coatings that degrade quickly, the new RAM uses advanced ceramic composites embedded with hollow ceramic spheres. These materials can withstand temperatures over 1800 degrees Fahrenheit, are harder than sand, and require dramatically less maintenance. In fact, the B-21's RAM eliminated the need for those thousands of feet of tape entirely. The coating is baked into the aircraft's structure during manufacturing, not applied afterward. This means fewer repairs, lower costs. An aircraft that spend more time on missions instead of in maintenance hangars. And here's the kicker. The B-21 costs about $65,000 per flight hour, less than half what the B-2 costs. That's not just a minor improvement. That's the difference between an aircraft you can actually afford to fly regularly and one that sits in a hangar because it's too expensive to operate. Our Air Force gets double the capability at half the cost. Number six, thermal management like never before. Radar isn't the only way to detect aircraft. Infrared sensors can track the heat signature from engines, and that's been a vulnerability for stealth aircraft since day one. The B-21's designers knew this, and they've implemented thermal management technology that's frankly stunning. The B-21's engines are buried deep within the airframe, with intakes that are more serpentine and tightly integrated than anything on the B-2. The exhaust is fully shielded and uses active cooling systems to reduce infrared bloom. But it goes further than that. The entire aircraft is designed to match the ambient temperature of the surrounding air. Think about what that means. An enemy infrared sensor looking at the sky wouldn't just see a cooler signature. They'd see virtually nothing distinguishable from the background. It's like thermal camouflage and it makes the B-21 nearly invisible to heat-seeking missiles and infrared detection systems. This level of thermal management requires incredible engineering. Every surface, every vent, Every exhaust port is calculated to minimize heat signature while maintaining engine performance. It's the kind of problem that takes decades to solve, and the United States just solved it while adversaries are still struggling with basic stealth shaping. Before we continue revealing the remaining game-changing technologies, take just a second to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. Over 98% of viewers watch without subscribing, and it costs you nothing but makes a huge difference to us. Now let's talk about something even more revolutionary. Number five, AI-powered autonomous capability. Here's something that should make every American feel safer and every adversary feel worried. The B-21 Raider can fly without a crew. Let me say that again. This bomber can complete entire missions with nobody on board. Air Force Global Strike Command recently recommended that the default crew for the B-21 should include just one pilot and one weapon systems officer not two pilots like the B-2. Why? Because the aircraft's artificial intelligence and automation systems are so advanced that a second pilot isn't necessary. The AI acts as a virtual co-pilot, handling everything from navigation to threat response. But that's just the beginning. The B-21 was designed from the start to be optionally manned. That means for extremely long missions, dangerous reconnaissance flights, or situations where risking human life doesn't make tactical sense, the Raider can fly itself. The aircraft's autonomous systems can make real-time decisions, adjust flight paths, and even execute attack runs without human input. Now, before anyone gets worried about robots making combat decisions, 
Understand this. Human operators maintain command authority. The AI handles the flying and technical operations, but humans still make the critical decisions about when and where to engage. It's the perfect marriage of human judgment and machine precision. This capability opens up mission profiles that were simply impossible before. 40-hour endurance flights without crew fatigue, penetrating the most heavily defended airspace on Earth without risking pilots, operating in environments with chemical, biological, or nuclear threats. The B-21 can do it all, and it can do it better than any human crewed bomber ever could. Number 4. The Flying Battle Manager Most people think of the B-21 as just a bomber, something that carries weapons and drops them on targets. That's like calling a smartphone just a phone. The B-21 Raider is actually a flying command and control hub, and this might be its most revolutionary capability. The aircraft was designed to serve as a sensor node in the sky, connecting drones, manned fighters, ground forces, and naval assets into one integrated network. Former Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin specifically highlighted this capability at the B-21's unveiling, explaining that the bomber's sensing, computing, and communications technology might be even more impactful than its stealth. Here's how it works in practice. The B-21 can control entire swarms of loyal wingman drones while simultaneously coordinating with F-35 fighters and gathering intelligence from satellite systems. It processes all this information in real time, then distributes targeting data to whoever needs it. One B-21 can manage an entire aerial battle while also prosecuting its own targets. This is what the military calls manned-unmanned teaming, and it represents the future of warfare. Instead of sending dozens of aircraft into contested airspace, you send one B-21 that coordinates everything from a position of stealth and safety. The bomber becomes the brain of the operation, directing assets, identifying threats, and ensuring mission success. And because all of this happens through low probability of intercept communications, enemies can't detect the data being transmitted. The B-21 talks to friendly forces using narrow, highly focused beams that are virtually impossible to intercept. It's like having an invisible command center flying through enemy airspace, directing operations without anyone knowing it's there. Number 3. Electronic Warfare Superiority Let's talk about something that doesn't get enough attention. Electronic Warfare Modern air defense systems rely on sophisticated radars, communications networks, and computer systems. The B-21 Raider can shut all of them down. The aircraft's electronic warfare suite is reportedly based on the F-35's ASQ-239 system, but enhanced for the bomber's unique mission profile. It can jam enemy radars, spoof missile guidance systems, and inject false targets into enemy networks. But it does more than just defend itself. The B-21 can actually gather signals intelligence while penetrating enemy airspace. It listens to enemy communications, maps their radar networks, and identifies vulnerabilities in their air defense systems. Then it either exploits those weaknesses itself or transmits that intelligence back to commanders who can use it to plan future operations. Here's what makes this truly devastating. The B-21's electronic warfare systems are integrated with its stealth design. While enemy radars are being jammed, they're simultaneously unable to detect the aircraft doing the jamming. It's like fighting an invisible opponent who can see everything you're doing while you swing blindly at shadows. And remember, that open architecture we talked about? It means the B-21's electronic warfare capabilities can be updated as fast as new threats emerge. Enemy deploys a new radar system. The B-21's electronic warfare suite gets updated to counter it within months. This isn't static technology. It's a living, evolving system that stays ahead of adversaries. Number 2. Unmatched Cost Efficiency Here's something that might surprise you. The B-21 Raider, despite being the most advanced bomber ever built, costs less per unit than the B-2 Spirit did 30 years ago when adjusted for inflation. The target price is around $550 million in 2010 dollars, which translates to roughly $750 million in today's money. Compare that to the B-2, which costs nearly $2 billion per aircraft. The B-21 delivers superior capability at less than half the price. How is that possible? It comes down to smart design and modern manufacturing. First, the program built production representative test aircraft from the start. Instead of creating expensive prototypes that get thrown away, the first B-21s rolled off the same assembly line using the same tools and techniques as production aircraft. 
Everything learned during testing feeds directly back into production, eliminating waste and reducing risk. Second, nearly 40 airframes are already under construction at Northrop Grumman's Palmdale facility, representing almost 40% of the planned minimum fleet of 100. By building aircraft at scale from early in the program, costs stay low and production stays efficient. Third, the B-21 uses commercial off-the-shelf components wherever possible. Instead of custom designing every system, engineers incorporated proven commercial technology that's cheaper to acquire and easier to support. The engines are efficient, Pratt and Whitney turbofans related to commercial designs, not exotic military-only power plants. All of this means the United States can actually afford to build and operate a fleet large enough to matter. Some analysts argue we should build 200 or more B-21s, and unlike the B-2 where costs made that impossible, with the Raider, it's actually achievable. Superior capability at a price we can sustain. That's how you maintain air dominance for decades. Number 1. Future-proof design for decades of dominance Here's the ultimate reason the B-21 Raider makes all other bombers history. It wasn't just designed for today's threats, it was engineered to dominate the battle space for the next 50 years. Every decision made during the B-21's development focused on adaptability and longevity. The open systems architecture means new weapons will integrate seamlessly. The digital twin environment means testing and upgrades happen faster than ever before. The modular design means components can be swapped without redesigning the entire aircraft. But it goes deeper than that. The B-21 is part of a larger family of systems. It's designed to work with next-generation tankers, coordinate with future fighters, and integrate with space-based assets that don't even exist yet. As warfare evolves, the Raider evolves with it. China is developing their own stealth bomber. Russia claims to have anti-stealth radar. Other nations are pursuing hypersonic weapons and advanced air defenses. None of it matters, because the B-21 was built with all of those threats in mind. Its stealth technology is designed to defeat radars that won't be deployed for another decade. Its electronic warfare systems can adapt to threats that haven't been invented yet. This is what sixth generation technology really means. It's not just about being the best today, it's about maintaining that edge tomorrow, next year, and decades into the future. The B-21 Raider is an investment in American air superiority that will pay dividends for half a century. And here's what really keeps adversaries up at night. The United States is scaling production. Congress approved a $4.5 billion funding boost in 2025. Northrop Grumman is negotiating deals to accelerate the production rate. We're not just building a few of these aircraft. We're building a fleet that will form the backbone of American air power for generations. Conclusion The B-21 Raider represents something rare in military aviation. Right genuine technological leap that changes the rules of engagement. Its stealth signature makes it nearly undetectable. Its AI capabilities allow unprecedented mission flexibility. Its electronic warfare systems render enemy defenses obsolete. And its open architecture ensures it will remain cutting edge long after other bombers are retired. From radar absorbent materials that require minimal maintenance to thermal management that makes it invisible to infrared sensors, from autonomous flight capability to serving as a flying battle manager. The B-21 combines 10 revolutionary technologies into one devastating platform. While potential adversaries struggle to field basic stealth aircraft, the United States is already two generations ahead. The B-2 Spirit made history 35 years ago. Now the B-21 Raider is making the B-2 look outdated, and it's doing it at half the operating cost. This is what happens when American innovation, military expertise, and industrial capability come together. The result is an aircraft that doesn't just meet the threats of today, it dominates the threats of tomorrow. The B-21 Raider isn't just making other bombers history, it's ensuring American air superiority remains history that never ends. If you found this breakdown valuable, smash that like button and subscribe. The men and women who designed and built this aircraft, and especially those who will fly it into harm's way defending our nation, deserve our support. Let's make sure their incredible work gets the recognition it deserves.